Ten Minutes to Bed, Little Monster by Rhiannon Fielding and Chris Chatterton. Have you ever heard a monster with horns upon her head creeping down the creaky stairs instead of going to bed? Have you ever seen her gleaming eyes or heard her fearsome growl? It's ten minutes to bedtime, but someone's on the prowl. It's Belch, the smallest monster <laughs> with a rumbly hairy belly. It's nine minutes to bedtime and she's downstairs slurping jelly. Whee! Wallop! Whoosh! Why is there so much noise? It's eight minutes to bedtime. Belch is playing with her toys. In monster houses far and wide lie monsters in their beds. So with seven minutes to bedtime, back down the hall Belch treads. Squeak! Goes the window, dark shadows across the floor. It's six minutes to bedtime, but who's bursting through the door? It's a herd of little monsters. It's a sneaky monster ball. It's five minutes to bedtime. They're not sleepy, not at all. <laughs> Cracklebum is upside down. Grouch has caused a riot. It's four minutes to bedtime, but there's no more peace and quiet. Yay! Squelch is sliding round on slime. <laughs> Gloop's making dreadful smells. It's three minutes to bedtime. Right, it's time for bed, Belch yells. Sheeplessly on tired legs, the others trudge back home. It's two minutes to bedtime. Belch is pleased to be alone. Back upstairs and into bed. Forgetting to be creepy, it's one minute to bedtime and she's feeling warm and sleepy. See, monsters are a lot like you, except for being hairy, when in their beds, their sleepy heads, and not so very scary. We hope you enjoyed the story. Subscribe and we'll see you next time for one more book. <laughs>